Hey, it's Halo. What's happening, everyone? Thanks for stopping in for another video. I hope y'all having a great day, as am I. Well, as am I. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm having a great day. I don't even need to hope for it. But check this out, guys. I know it's been a while since my last video, but uh, a little bit has changed. It's now the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Also, this is not the Xbox One anymore. That's that's point number one that needs to be made. Point one, big bold font with a bullet. Point one. This isn't the Xbox One. This is Steam. Which means I don't have any of my previous data. Uh, I could cry. I gotta get the platinum all over. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. I'm already a quarter of the way there, actually. Because it's a lot of fun. I've been playing it. Uh, I haven't done today's day run. What's today's day run? Magdalene? Nah, that's not interesting. So, there's a lot of new stuff. Like, a lot of new stuff. Like, there's new rooms, there's new items, there's new synergies. I've noticed, like, a new animation on, like, a lot of things. Like, a lot, a lot of things. Like, everything. Plus, there's this new character right here, Lilith. And, oh yeah, so far I haven't unlocked Eden, I haven't unlocked Juice, I haven't unlocked the Blue Baby, but I ain't really worried about that right now. There's also a new mode. You can see on the right there's green mode. There are a whole bunch of new ch There's ten new challenges, none of which have I done. Matter of fact, a couple of them I still need to unlock. Awesome. That's not my concern at the moment, though. So, right now, I want to talk to Sarge. Sarge, if you're out there, if you're listening, you, before this DLC came out, had some qualms about Lilith when I described her to, when I described her to you. You were concerned that she was blindfolded and that her focus was on followers. For whatever reason, you didn't like the sound of that. I don't know why. I want to tell you something. You can put them... You probably already know this by now, because I know the way you watch Binding of Isaac content. But, I digress. Lilith's fucking awesome. I love this chick. Especially in the new mode, greed mode. This is like... This sets her apart. She was made for this shit. What the... Resume, resume. What is happening... Okay, I don't know what that was all about. All right, so first thing we need to address this is greed mode. Greed mode has seven floors. The first six are all laid out like this, sort of. They have this one tall room. There's a curse room. There's a shop. Now floor six won't have the item rooms on the side because it's like where things get challenging. But you got a free room and you got a lock room. So, oh, here's a new item that I can talk about. So that's a super bandage, which we know what that does. It gives me a red heart and two blue hearts, which is nice, but I'm going to take this. This is Mr. Dolly. Range and tears, and it drops three hearts of random variations. Oh, I turned on the extra HUD for this um, recording, and now I know what the extra HUD does. I got the time, and I got my item. Okay, that's... That's nice. That's nice. That's interesting, actually. Okay. So, the bread and butter of greed mode is the shop, right? You're going to need to visit this bitch often, but how are you going to get money? Well, that's the point of... Greed mode is sort of like a pseudo-survival. We're going to hit the button in the middle, which is a new function added in Afterbirth. These buttons. Woo-hoo buttons. We're going to hit the button in the middle, and it's going to start some waves. You can see on the left hand side there's a new symbol underneath my money, my bombs, and my keys. That's the greed mode wave counter. The first eight waves are going to spawn non-stop. Those are normal-ish enemies, right? These last two waves are going to be boss waves. And then we'll get, we'll address things as we come to them, but let's get started. So this is Lilith, as you can see. She's got a blindfold and she's got Incubus now. Incubus is the follower special to her. Basically, it's Lilith's tears. Like any modifiers you get for Lilith are applied to Incubus. Since I got Mr. Dolly, my tier rate went up. You can see it. My range, I think Dolly increases. No, Dolly doesn't increase range. What is it? it doesn't matter. So, any of these stats that would normally be pertinent to your character are pertinent to the Incubus. At least as far as damage and attacking goes. Now, the other thing about Lilith is her active item up there the um, companion box. What this does is this adds plus one or whatever followers you naturally have following you at the time of use. Right now I have an incubus following me so if I use my item I have two incubuses following me. This is where Lilith shines in this mode because once we hit that button it's gonna give us it's like entering or it's like clearing a room. 
So we're going to get a charge on our item, and a couple of pennies are going to drop. Let's just go ahead and get into it. So now, as you can imagine, this item, the active item, has its limitations. The doubling of or the additional companions are much like Monster Manual, only for the room that you're in when you use it. That being said, there's like even though there's breaks between waves, we don't need to leave the room. We could utilize them if I was another character. I probably would. But I find with Lilith, this is the soundest strategy. And I'm sure I'm not the first person to figure this out. But I've been too busy playing to watch people play it, so that's just me. So every two waves, we get another charge on our item. And I just use it again. So I basically have quad shot with no deficit to my attack rate. That's the way I think of it. And now I have quintuple shot with no deficit to my attack rate. And there's no, sp not depending on how I got these guys lined up, there's no spread. Like, it's all in how you maneuver. What? Uh, well, that happened. I'm lucky I only took one hit from it. It's all in how you know how to maneuver your followers. Like, ever since the Family Man challenge, I've grown more accustomed to followers because that challenge is a pain in the ass, anyone knows. Now I have six. Uh, I walked right into that. I was greedy. Little screed mode, so it fits. I got six of these little guys following me. Six of these little guys. Even at base freaking damage, if you have six shots coming out at once at this rate, you are. Little and greed mode is OP. And the best part is, in greed mode, you can easily break the system. Because there's a new mechanic in the game called item restock. And traditionally, you'd have to actually find the item restock, the restock item. Pardon my French. I don't know how to speak. Apparently, you'd have to find the restock item, and it would restock shops. Personally, I haven't found it in an actual run yet. I've only found it in this. But the uh, green mode shops automatically. Oh, there we go. So as you can see on the left-hand side, what I did after clearing the two boss waves there was a pentagram on the button you press that you get the challenge boss clear the challenge boss you get devil deal or age room if you happen to get that precedent but I find that to be incredibly rare as is me so we're going to see at the end of it all you usually get 27 key, uh, pennies per floor I haven't come into many situations where that's not been the case so I got the latch key. That gives me luck up, gives me a heart, or a soul heart, I mean. It gives me two keys. I'm happy about the key situation. Now I don't need to buy keys. I can just enter. Oh, what is... That's not 2020. I've never seen that before. What is this? What is this? I'm going to stop asking questions with such a... 20... Oh, it is 2020. Oh, okay, so they just updated the... Sh the Okay, so now I got 2020, and then when I hit my item one time, I'm going to have 2020, 2020. <laughs> this is Friday Night at Freddy's all of a sudden. I got 420 mode. Blaze it up. Uh, right, so after you clear your 10 waves, you can exit the floor, and we'll move ahead. Okay, so as you can see, we got a bunch of waves, and then the final boss is a form of greed. We're not gonna spoil that, but yeah, it's it's a greedy son of a bitch. So in here, <gasps> monstros lung. You know, I'm not. It's just dawned on me. Oh, sweet Jesus, Jesus. Nothing. Um, it has just dawned on me. While playing with Lilith and Incubus, I have never picked up a charge item. I'm not a hundred percent what this will do. Given the nature of the character, I kind of don't want to take Monstro's Lung. If I was anyone else, th different, but oh. Ooh, ooh, it's that thing. I like that thing. I like that thing. I like that thing a lot. Okay, I need a penny. Uh, I need a penny. Oh, look, there's coal, too. That would be good. It's the coal and that. Oh, that's a synergy just sitting on the shop floor. Okay. Mm, nothing to do but get to it. And I 
think even though I didn't get a lot of damage from Jesus geez, uh, this room is going to be flooded with tears before long do you see this shit <laughs> I love this bitch Lilith and greed mode is so much fun like I have played greed mode with Lilith more than anyone else like I mean I've done it with pretty much all the other characters I've unlocked just to get their unlocks because just like clearing any boss with a the character there's a special unlock for clearing greed mode with them This is gonna be ridiculous, and I'm already, I'm only on the second floor. This is gonna be freaking ridiculous, but I'm only on the second floor. Ooh. Oh, there's one of the new bosses, Low Horn. This dude is annoying. Don't get hit, don't let him hit you with one of them holes. You'll get warped random place, take some damage. I don't know how much damage those little balls do, because I've yet to allow one to touch me. Do you see? The number of tears that I am putting out right now. I'm not even going to use my item again. I don't need to. Holy shit. <laughs> this is too awesome. Look at this. And I could. Oh, oh man. I can only get stronger. I can only get stronger. I'm going to say thank you. You generous bastard all of a sudden. Whew. Okay. I'm going to pick up coal because we know what that does. And you can see, I didn't explain it last time, but yeah, that's the restock. Every time you buy something, another one pops up. You can breakfast it. You can break it. But you can also, if you happen to have one of these nice little boxes up here, throw a few pennies in it and it re-rolls and whatever little pool you breakfast changes that to another little pool. I don't know exactly what's going on because I haven't played enough yet. But it seems to me, at least in this mode, the shops pools are like broken up into individual like stacks. Like this is a pool and this is a pool and this is a pool. And even when you start getting a bunch of breakfasts, it's not guaranteed that you've emptied the pool. Because I've bought three breakfasts and then something else came up and that was just something else. But I digress. I've been hemming and hauling and putting off for too long. This is a new item that I'm really fond of. This is Continuum. And there's Polly Oh, you son of a bitch. I want that! I want that! Why would you show that to me now? Alright, well. Here's your, uh, Continuum. Descendant Tears. Yeah. So, in addition to having a form of Spectral, they fly off on one end of the screen and come back on the opposite end. So this is like Pac-Man now, where your attacks... Uh, I like how the effect it has on your head, too, by the way. Your head's just like, there's two massive holes in your head now, where your eyes used to be. <sighs> buy a key, because I can't afford poly. I want that! I want that! Damn it! Oh well, I picked coal, so that's gonna synergize well with transcendent tears, cause they, cause coal's mechanic is more or less just the travel time, and they definitely got some travel time now. Holy shit! <sighs> Man, so many good items. That's why I love this mode. You can just see so much good shit all of a sudden, and you lose your mind because of it. Not touching you. You've been amazing to me in the past. I'm don't get me wrong. Having like nine. I went to all the way to the final boss and I had like nine incubuses, incubi, whatever, with still only three damage, okay. With the tech tiers and those, there's just a sweeping laser across the map. It's beautiful. It's effective too, more importantly. Yeah, well, there's a few. Just a few, unfortunately. Just a few, unfortunately. Um, I'll probably pick up the box because I know there's going to be a key in it among other shit that I may or may not like I'll take the risk though because I know there's going to be a bunch of oh, I forgot to use Incubus I could have had another one by now ah well this is like already to the point where I'm far stronger than anything that I'm about to see including the bosses holy shite if only I had piercing, then the 
freaking trifecta of power would be complete here. Cole plus a spectral forever tears and I just like the coloration effects. God. The room because of the transcendent tears, the room is literally filling with tears. I freaking love this. <laughs> Like, what could possibly stand up to this? Like, there's nothing. There's a whole lot of nothing that could possibly be done to wrest me from my throne of power. You know what? I'm going to do it. I could have taken the fear shot. I, people might be asking me why I didn't take the fear shot. I'm not really that interested in power. Okay, that could be useful. Right now, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Let's go ahead and just pop you right up here. And I didn't mean to give you a penny, but oh well. Uh, puberty. Uh, okay. By the way, anyone who's played Isaac before knows there's a bunch of new colors. You can take notice. You can take notice of that. A bunch of new colors on the pills now. There's a bunch of new pill effects. So obviously we gotta raise the number of colors to match. Do I want pay to play? Do I want pay to play? Floor mound, depths. Nah, I already got four keys. There's no point in pay to play. But by the way, what pay to play does is any doors with keys become arcade style doors where you stick a penny in and the door opens. So that'd be good for like runs like normal mode runs but I have no interest in that right now I've already got enough keys to finish the run it's not important to me right now because I only have yeah this floor and the next floor are the only ones with locked doors anyway that was weird how it just faded in all slow like that ooh it's a lotus black lotus okay now I got a bunch of black hearts I've never um I forget which one this is. Growth Homewards. Okay, I'm glad I took that then. I got 22 pennies. What do we got? Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> More synergy! It's the car battery! <laughs> yes! Uh, so... <laughs> to explain my joy the car battery as you may have seen from the flavor text is double charge what that means is your item is doubled when you use it like its effect is double activated in the case of uh, like an item producing or weapon producing effect like say Tammy's head or um, Bobby bomb or not Bobby bomb um, Mr. Bomb, Mr. Boom, like anything that produces things, like you get two of them. Like I've actually had used car battery with the IV bag, and instead of taking half a heart, it takes a whole heart, and it gives you twice as many coins. Like it just, it gives you two. Pa it's like activating the item twice, but you're only doing it once. I don't know why I'm making this explanation so complicated. Like you're about to see, I activate it. I have three. But it only uses it still uses the same exact amount of power. So every activation is now going to give me two additional incubuses. So now I'm at five. And I'm at five damage. So there's ten tiers being produced at one. Now there's twelve tiers being produced at once. With a pretty good f uh I'm gonna end up lagging the game. Look at these tiers! And there's one of those new enemies that I dislike so very much. I was never, I've never liked the regular ghosts. Why would you make red ones up with lasers? And I'm only gonna like the game more by making more incubuses. Cause he's, I think it's the color changing effect that's really bothering the game right now. Jesus. Then there's the sheer number of tears. Jesus. I, I don't want to keep lagging like that, so I'm just going to step out for a minute. I know I'm going to get a charge anyway. 
and I got a little more damage, so it's okay. Honestly, it seems like three of them are more than enough at this stage. Holy shit, dude. Do you see this madness? Like, is this visible to you guys? I, this is not extraordinary. I have been far more OP in this mode. It is incredibly easy. Like if I had IV bag and life savings, you guys would see something special. Trust. Trust. I haven't found any other guppy item. Why did I even pause? I can just look to the right. I haven't found any other guppy items, so I'm just gonna take the pact. More damage and more tears. That tier rate, that damage, it it's it's 2020 and one incubus would be more than enough but I can have an army following me I love this game <laughs> this is awesome alright time for the last floor with free items after that I got one more floor that's full of greed type enemies and a shop that is like a means to get rid of all my money Ah, uh, mm. ooh, definitely taking that. Now my tears through the roof. I could, I actually I will. I just had a thought. I'm gonna have three of these guys following me. The trail of creep. I will leave. Holy shit! It's another battery. Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh, this is going to turn into something special. And just like that, I have the first wave. I have five followers of both. And now I have seven. And I'm quickly going to break the game, so I'm probably going to, you know, cut it off here. I could just get my incubuses to like line up. That almost hit me, and yet it didn't. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Look at the massive trail of creep I'm leaving. <gasps> okay. I can paint this entire damn room, can't I? Uh, that's one of the new and new one bosses. Not a fan of that guy. Yeah, he's got two like new sets. If you're next to him, he'll do the wave army wavy thingy, which is not. I've never been hit by it. I don't know if it actually hits at all. Uh, let that happen. Okay. I went quiet for that because I don't like those guys, but whatever. Okay, Krampus. He picked a bad time. I just want to see something real quick. I think that was just double the intensity. That was what I wanted to check, by the way, what the uh, car battery would do in that situation. I don't need a key. I don't. Uh, there's a reroll thingy I'll remember to try. For it didn't reroll the trinket bag. Why didn't it reroll the trinket bag? Squeezy. Even more tears. What's my tear rate? Okay, that's my tear rate. Okay. When I'm new and I'm new, so I don't like that. They shoot faster than I like them to. <sighs> okay, then. I realize that I've been ignoring these curse rooms, but I'll be honest, I've not found a lot of worthwhile things in the curse room in greed mode. Oh, I don't have. What do I have? It's another tower. Okay, 
I've never found a lot of worthwhile things in the curse room, at least in Green Mode. I really wish. Really wish. I had life savings. Because if I had life savings, that IV machine would turn into a game breaking device. Actually, if it broke and gave me the IV bag, then it would turn into a game breaking device. Alright. Let's produce the army. I know there's going to be a healthy stopping point at some point. That's just natural. I'm going to ignore that. I think I'm just going to keep pressing my left trigger and activating this item every given opportunity. My tears. I, I don't. There's a tier limit and I'm crossing it? Are you fucking with me? Oh, there's that new annoying there's one of them new annoying bitches. Okay, well this has been an insightful learning experience. like I'm the game enforces a tier limit. Like it won't let me fire more tears until the what I have is cleared out. And my tears go for a long damn time. Holy shit. How many incubuses do I have? I need to count so I know not to cross this limit. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. Okay, no more than thirty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And there look, if I had taken the head. If I had taken the head. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm gonna pick you up. And then I'm gonna pick you up. And then I'm gonna pick you up. And I realize it's not the smartest thing for me to do ever. But you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm about to sacrifice a life just to prove a point. Oh, sweet of darn. Okay, give me all that and give me one of that. Give me one of that. Da, 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 da. And there's a reroll device. This is good. And did you give me yes you did. Crack jacks. Gives me plus one health and it drops a trinket. I like that item. It's one of the new ones that I really like. A question mark card. Oh sweet. It says double active. That's it it mimics your active item. Much like how there's active items that can mimic cards and pills and runes and stuff, there's now a card that mimics the active item. So wrap your head around that. I know I'm two thirds guppy, but I'm not in the least bit concerned about feeling, finishing that. That's what I was looking for something to give me health. Okay. Let's see just how lucky I am. Well. I may have ruined the run by throwing away all that health. We'll see. I have four hearts, so maybe it won't be that bad. I mean, the stupid flipping double deal is closed. I can't go in there and just turn all these into blue hearts, unfortunately. I would. I would not hesitate to do it. It's more hearts. Fuck, wouldn't I? Anyway. Look, the door's open. I can just go through it. No, I can't. Monstro. He always spawns. Just regular plain Jane monster. You easily knock him out. I think his purpose is more than just is pretty much just to drop these hearts. Sometimes there's other hearts which would have been more appreciated right about now. Ah, oh, whatever. All right, so we're gonna activate that and activate the question card again. Or activate the question card. So I basically activate the item again. So now I've got. Ten tears coming at once. That's ultra greed. 
and I need to break these before what happens happens okay so basically he's got a couple different attacks the one thing he does consistently is those like slot coins he plays in his eyes they can come up bombs they can come up keys they can come up hearts bombs will they explode obviously keys unlock these doors and he's got a bunch of little minions that flood out and I let all of the keys go the first time I saw them and then all five of the doors opened and I pooped my pants okay and if you see hearts destroy as much as you can but don't really worry about it because he does not get what I would call a significant amount of health back from even like all of them and if the and sometimes he just drops coins to be a pain in the ass. They spin around and they hurt you. Damn you. This is the tankiest son of a bitch, by the way. The tankiest. Like, not even Mega Satan, I feel like, takes this long. And I have been far more OP than this, and it still takes a long damn time. Okay, so that was green mode. We win. Green's dead, and now there's a chest. I don't know what this box does. I do know every time I put one more penny in it, it blows up so it won't go past 109. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. What happens if I bomb it? Not a damn thing. What happens if I bomb you? Will you give me a penny so I can prove a point? Nope, you'll give me spiders. Alright then. Well. That's greed mode. And this is the greed ending. Like I said, that was greed mode. I'm actually kind of glad looking at the timer now that we didn't get the IV machine to give us what I wanted because I've spent half an hour in that store using that exploit and now is not the time to be doing that. No, 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 it's not, definitely not the time to be doing that. But that was greed mode and that was the new character Lilith and a whole bunch of new items. Like I said, I love this game has all of a sudden got such a huge new breath of life and I friggin' love it insane bullshit you can find and pull off now in that mode especially with that character it's, ah, it's so much fun I can't wait I can't wait to keep doing it again I'm gonna, matter of fact I'm going to do it right now uh, thanks for you guys thanks for stopping in thanks for watching I've been Halo this has been a video I'll see y'all later